I'm Daniil and welcome to the Moon Project. <clears throat> we here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice. <clears throat> and I am, uh, it was brought to my attention by a very perceptive young lady, um, an unusual phrasing. What? It's not that the phrasing is unusual, it's what happened is seems to modern ears and the modern imagination to seem a little odd. I'm talking about uh, when the spies returned in the book of Numbers, when the spies returned and 10 of the 12 spies gave an evil report. The place is terrible, it's awful, there's giants, there's no way, we felt like ants in front of them, there's no way we can take them. And, and it says in the book of Numbers chapter 14 verse 5, and Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before the entire congregation of the assembly of the children of Israel. They fell on their faces. Similar thing happens uh, a couple of chapters later with the uh, Korach rebellion. When the Korach and his, uh, and his assembly and his congregation and his cohorts, his gang, says, listen, who are you to, to be our leader? We, we think we should be the leaders. Moses and, uh, fell on his face. So the very perceptive young lady said, with all due respect to uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, uh, Moses, our teacher, and Aaron, the kind of Gadol, the, the high priest, this seems like a, a useless gesture. I mean, it's a futile gesture. He was Moses. This seems completely uh, counter to what we've heard of him. This is the guy who stood up to Pharaoh. Uh, he and Aaron, let my people go, who smashed the... The, uh, the tablets of the Ten Commandments, when he saw the, the Chet Egel, the sin of the golden calf. He's the one who commanded the Leviim, the, Le the Levites, to slay the people who've, uh, uh, who, who did this horrible, uh, horrible sin. And he's the one who went up to Har Sinai, to, to Mount Sinai, and basically talked to God in real time, face to face, uh, when God said, no one can see my face and live. It, uh, it seems very perplexing. And uh, because, she continued, very perceptive. And she brings an excellent point. Moses could have just shut them up with a single word. He could have said, you ten spies, you're, you're losers, you're, you're traitors, you... you, 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 you didn't do a service to your duty as the spies, and you're doing a Lush and Hora, evil speech against the Israel. He could have uh, handed the whole thing with a word. Stop the whole thing short. What's with the falling in the faces, he and his brother Aaron? Um, it was Harav uh, Simcha Zisselbreide who offers, I suggest, a very keen and penetrating insight into this matter. What was the essence of Moses and Aaron too? What was the essence of their being? What was the essence of their person personality? Humility. Moses was the most uh, humble, the most modest person. And even though they fought uh, faithfully and courageously against any infraction, they were very, very, very strict. Um, when it came to their roles as leaders, they said, listen, this is not something that uh, we wanted. This is not something that we picked. This is something that God told us to do. Um, whenever the people questioned, for example, in the, the Korach rebellion, questioned their, their leadership or why it should be them, uh, their qualifications to lead, Moses kept saying, listen, your problem isn't with me. Your problem is with Hashem. He's the one who chose us. Um, if anything, rather than showing weakness, this showed the strength of their leadership. When it came to challenges, um, their response was to bow. And in this case, um, literally fall down on their faces. Um, they were fulfilling, uh, according to Rav Simchas uh, Isselbreide, they were fulfilling their mandate as spiritual leaders of the Jewish people. And um, it was their sense of humility um, that directed them uh, to bow their heads in submission. Um,
humility, modesty, being humble, these are necessary virtues for all of us. How much more so uh, is it an essential prerequisite for leadership? Um, all too often, one loses sight of one's uh, roots uh, or the manner that he ascended and became a leader, achieved his uh, leadership. We and they, our leaders, must see the hand of God, the, the hand of uh, Hashem, guiding the leader's every move. Um, otherwise, he may end up dragging his followers to do something foolish, for example, in the, uh, the ten spies that gave the, uh, the evil report. Um, we ended up wandering in the desert for uh, a little while, 40 years, uh, because of this evil report. Two generations of us had to die in the desert uh, for that slave mentality, that, that defeatist attitude to be... Uh, to literally die out um, from the Jewish people. Um, a true leader knows the true source of his power. And uh, it was that knowledge that they were tools of Hashem. They were instruments of the Creator. It was their humility and knowing who they were and before whom they stood and for whom they worked that caused uh, Moses and Aaron to uh, fall upon their faces. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you too much.